All right, guys, it's time. It's time for us to have a talk about the plague of the crucible. What what really has been making me absolutely tilt? The lone monarch. This thing. Oh, man, I've got nothing against bows. In fact, I encourage people to use different weapons, but it poisoning you and for certain builds one hitting you. It, I mean, empowering rift, a charge of light thing. Things are actually making this bow one hit people in trials. It is a monster i can't stand it arrows fired quickly after a full draw become poisonous arrows precision hits with poison arrows spread poison nearby enemies this is a literal plague this it's actually ruining the crucible i think that it feels worse than getting shatter dived at this point maybe it's because i'm used to getting shatter dived now one of them's going away and it's not this what am I using today? Well, I decided to throw on Arc Strider, you know, throw on a couple of bow mods and run my Elemental Capacitor Dire. We're going to be hot swapping with Lumen Arc. Now, is this scummy? Yeah, absolutely. But I want to see how busted it is and I want you guys to see with me. I want to know if this really is that bad. And uh, I got a feeling, I got a feeling that it is. Now, for those of you that don't know, bows right now have a very forgiving hitbox, that are easy to use, and on top of that, Lomonarch being able to poison you, which is effectively decreasing your recovery because you're not able to get your health back as quickly, is very, very dominant in Trials of Osiris. So a lot of people are using Oathkeeper builds and going invisible, and they're just sitting with Lomonarch in the back of the map. Some people are using Powering of Lomonarch, and there's people hot swapping, which is what we're gonna try today, just because you can play a little more aggressive with it. I want to see how bad it is. All right, let's hop into it. All right, it looks like we got a game of Cauldron. Cauldron's not too bad. Probably going to play outside most of it. Well, that just goes to show how uh, quick this, this build is. I'm going to die to burn. Did nothing. I, I did nothing wrong. I just got punched into a wall, man. Sad life. Okay, let's hop back up. Looks like this is a nice little high traffic area. Man, the poison is killer. Go ahead and hop over to this side of the map. Don't want to see the same paint. Oh, no, not the malfeasance. Oh, we're just pinched. Sometimes you can't do anything in Rumble. Sometimes you get stuck. Tis but a shame. At least this one people push. I literally played a game where I got like 11 kills and it took six minutes and I just quit. Because people are just running away the entire game. Rumble is so strange. Okay, the malfeasance is tough. I won't lie to you. There's one guy on me somehow. That's the malfeasance. I feel like a freaking ninja man. That guy had worm husk, otherwise he would have died. What? Worm husk heals for so much actually surprising. Go ahead and hop on over here. I raise you one egg receptor with a luminarch. What? Houdini? Hello? Let's go ahead and run over here. I got pre-fired a little bit. Oh, 
Why are people- wait, what? People are in the middle of fighting each other and chase down the super? That's a silly thing to do, but now we can bait heavy. Actually, you know what? That was all part of the plan. <laughs> they have no idea. Unless they don't go for heavy. Oh, I missed. Well, the bait worked. I just, you know, had to kill a little bit slower. Why? <laughs> I, I'm actually getting team shot. This is quite funny. Let's go ahead and hop back up here. Goodness, sir, sir. I, I just had three supers popped over by me. Oh, my goodness. Well, the build's silly, and it's really fun, but uh, I, I, I know for a fact that being able to to kill people this quickly with a bow is excessive as heck. Being able to keep people's recovery down, being able to uh, in, in, literally 0. 0.2 seconds kill someone, all you need is a Luminarch and a 100 handling hand cannon. And uh, you can even win in ridiculously hectic lobbies like those. Uh, if you guys like the video, please do drop a like. And uh, I am sorry for exposing this absolutely toxic as heck build. Remember, you can also use Oath Keepers and Invisibility. And if you ever use this against me, I'll block you. Love you and farewell.